What is up guys? I'm here to do a little build breakdown on my 08 KFX 450. Um, figured there's not many videos on people that build these or just have videos in general on them. Uh, so I figured it'd be cool to kind of do like a breakdown, kind of work from the front to the back. Um, been working on this for about a year. Um, spent a lot of money, a lot of time into it. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. I apologize, there's probably a little bit of an echo in here. Um, I don't really have any other good place to, to take this video, obviously because the wife won't let me have this in the house. So yeah, let's get right into it. Um, starting with the front, the obvious, you know, we got a factory 43 bumper, um, all black plastics. Um, we've got the LS4 uh, inner hood and then LS4 under hoods, um, all fiberglass. Um, accent, you know, it looks really good with all the black plastics. Uh, I've got Walsh MX arms, uh, two and a half inch extended, half inch forward. Um, they're tie rods. Um, I've got Fox Float Evol 2s, um, just rebuilt by Doug Schultz in Ohio. Um, set them up for my weight, my riding style, everything. Um, stock spindles, brand new brake pads, stock pads, stock rotors. Um, I just got some DWT, almost just bust my ass. Don't even see DWT uh, rock out rims. Um, pretty simple, nothing crazy. Um, then you see also from the front, we've got Pro Taper bars, uh, Ricky Carmichael Ben, Pro Taper clutch uh, lever, and then Powerman hand grips with some pillow top waffle uh, Pro Taper grips. I just like those grips more than anything. I had the ODIs, just aren't for me. I'm um, just not a big fan of them. Not not the biggest, uh, thicker grip kind of guy. Um, well, I've also got a CCP stabilizer, two inch uh, extended brake lines, steel braided, streamlined brake lines. Uh, but yeah, we'll move to the, you know, the middle. All right, so moving on to more of the middle of the bike. Um, as you can see, the full black plastics. Um, this is a carb swapped 08. Um, I just had a ton of electrical issues with the, you know, fuel injection system. So I had a lot of help from my buddy Jerry um, in converting this to a carb swap, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, factory 43 Nerfs with the 14 and a half inch pegs. These are brand new. They're freaking sharp as crap. Um, as you can see, the frame is powder coated. Uh, just got it all done by a local place. It's in prismatic bright green. Um, not a lot, a lot of the accents, you know, like the, the brake lever and then a bunch of the, the hubs, um, engine mounts, they're all done in textured black powder coat. Looks really good. It's not glossy. I'm not a big fan of gloss, like more of the matte color. Um, does have a kicker. Um, the engine has a ported head. Um, I poured the head. Um, it's got stage two hot cams. It's got an Athena stop bore cylinder. Um, I saw really good reviews from Michael Sabo when he ran it. Got the bigger, bigger water jackets. Um, it's got 13, um, 13.0 compression um, piston in it. Um, it runs on 110 in an 87 non-ethanol mix. Um, so probably about you know mid 90 um, ethanol content rating, which is plenty fine. You don't need to run high compression or you know, race gas on something that's 13 compression. Um, does have a kicker that's newly added. Um, CV4 radiator hoses. And as you can see, these blue lines right here, um, it's a Wrangler, a Jeep Wrangler coil upgrade. I had my buddy Mitch uh, do that when I had him do the original fuel injected harness wire cut. But since then, I've cut the whole harness just for carb swap. But we'll move into more of the bike right now. Um, as you can see, you know, you got the kicker, you got an LS4 rear master brake um, protector. It's got Yoshimura full exhaust. Um, I don't know why I'm a big fan of shorties, so I ended up cutting the exhaust and then repacking it and then making it into a shorty exhaust. Um, swing arms, um, powder coated in that texture black. Um, just fully went through the whole motor. Uh, it's maybe got 20 minutes on it. Um, all new gaskets, uh, a couple of other new O rings that needed it. Um, runs like a freaking top. Um, 
you know, nothing really else more in this. You can kind of tell that the seat doesn't sit flush. Uh, that's because I've got a custom stock um, lowered subframe. Um, I had a local buddy cut and weld it, took an inch and three quarters off each side and then re-welded the stock mounts back to it. I'm not a big fan of the hind joint mod that a lot of the subframe, uh, the guys do for the subframe mounts. I just feel like those are a weak point when you can just reuse the stock mounts and it works perfectly. It's perfectly straight. Um, it lowered the rear about two and a half inches at the grab bar and it just gives a way better feel. Um, as you can see in the back, um, it's got some junky eBay grab bar on it. Um, you can see a fuel custom um, intake. Um, I cut out the back part of the plastics because the box for the intake doesn't sit flush. Um, you can see the black swing arm. It's got a Fox podium rear that was also just redone by Doug Schultz in Ohio uh, with Doug Schultz Motorsports. It's got a 37 tooth rear sprocket, um, X-ring chain, um, pretty much everything back here is stock, new brake rotor, um, it's got the parking brake block off. Um, we're sitting on CST Pulse um, tires, front and rear, um, and in the back I've got DWT single beadlock wheels, um, and then I've got an LSR extended axle for, you know, getting that 50 inch. All right, we'll go to the, uh, take the seat off. Um, I do have seat pins on my seat. There are Quatex seat pins. I've yet to uh, staple back my seat. I had to put uh, spacers on the back side for those rivets. You can see the FCI intake. I do want to get rid of this stupid little toolbox. No one uses this thing. And they have those trick, you know, billet aftermarket receipt receptacles. A couple companies make them. I just need to go and buy them. FCI intake, you know, there's the Fox podium rear. Um, nothing too crazy here on top. Obviously, you can see my handlebars not really clustered. Um, this is my start button. And obviously, I've got a kill switch for, you know, a lot of tracks require that. Hand guards. And then you can see my lever is very, you know, inwards towards the center of the bike. A lot of dirt bike guys do this. A um, lot less leverage to get pull on the clutch lever you can normally do with one finger or two fingers instead of it way out here where you're using you know your ring finger and pinky a um, lot easier to do that same thing with the brake lever um, i do run them pitched pretty far down and forward um, that's just the riding position i'd like and you can see this is not a kawasaki thumb throttle that acts as a, a uh, 06 TRX 450 thumb throttle because it works with the carb. And we'll go down to that right now. Um, as you can see, I've got the fuel filter in there. A um, little bit of a janky setup. I'm waiting on a buddy to make a bracket for the petcock there and the fuel shut off um, instead of that stupid little zip tie. But that fuel filter and fuel line runs to an 06 CRF 450 carb. Um, you can see the fuel lines there. Um, nothing crazy, um, just, you know, Decent jets make it run good. Um, you can see the UPP Racing Case Saver. These are a must have on all your you know, dirt bikes and quads. In case that chain ever snaps, you don't want to bust in your case and you know having to go get a whole brand new engine. Um, Pro Circuit Shift Lever, really nice. And you can see this air filter. It's actually to the crankcase breather back there. Um, just have it vented to atmosphere instead of it running back through the intake, which I have plugged. A couple more trick parts. I've got the uh, bigger seat button here. Um, train gee is designed. Um, my buddy Albert makes those. He also made this out, uh, upper billet um, steering stem clamp. Uh, works a lot better than the stock one. Get a better look at it here. Super nice, there's his logo TD44. Um, this is a Walsh stock height stem um, with some anti-vibe mounts. And then down here at the very bottom, I've got a JLS lower plate um, steering stem plate. Um, nothing too crazy. I actually uh, upgraded that bearing to a ceramic ball bearing instead of the, the chunky, uh, junky one that they use stock. Um, nothing else here really crazy inside the motor area. Um, 
you know, just the powder coat, the battery cover, nothing too crazy. I think the black plastics look crazy good. And then I do have LS4 frame guards. As you can see on this side, I don't have one because it interferes with the kicker when you put it on here and the kicker comes out, it interferes. So I've got to figure out a way to take care of that and trim it up That's and everything. Really cool trick parts. I have these uh, LS4, you know, A-arm plugs. They prevent dirt and mud from getting caked in, you know, where your bolts go in for your lower mounts for your shocks. I also have those. And I don't have these on right now, but these are carbon mud plugs for DWT wheels. Obviously, I don't have them on because you have to fill them up with air and it's a pain in the butt to take these off because you have to freaking take four screws out every time. And I just, I just want to mess with that. But also, brand new Henson clutch fibers inside with uh, steels. Thing is amazing. So, yeah. So, yeah, there you guys have it. Um, I'm sure you got a nice view of my freaking messy garage. Um, yes, this is my fully built, you know, KFX. There's really nothing on this that I haven't touched. Um, love to death. Um, does great up against everybody. Oh, I forgot. I've also got a BCC skid plate on it. I don't know, it's nothing major, but it's been great. It's taken a lot of abuse. Um, so highly recommend them. A little bit of weight if you do order them, but yeah, this is it. Uh, nothing too crazy. I mean, obviously, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below. I um, appreciate, you know, thumbs up or anything. I do some other videos on my page, um, a bit running, you know, me giving a little gas and everything, some sound clips. Um, I'll try to keep up with it. I like posting the shorts, um, the short videos that YouTube has, you know, it's pretty good algorithm, get some views. So yeah, if you guys like the video, go ahead and shoot me a thumbs up, leave a comment, you know, appreciate y'all.